Hello, Internet. My name is Jalen O'Brien, and welcome to another episode of one of the only shows on the Internet that highlights in painfully stark detail exactly how old I'm getting. Hello, Internet. I'm Daniel O'Brien. Yeah. Look at that guy. Still believing the world belongs to him. Spoilers, jerk. Nah. Hey, speaking of seeing two versions of the same thing, and one of them is clearly worse, today's episode explores... Look, I respect and understand that no one just creates a masterpiece from scratch. I understand the concept of rough drafts and that Moby Dick, despite all its perfection now, was likely once upon a time... Or uh, maybe a book about, like, how whales are shit and the ocean's stupid. And Dick's a funny word. Let's go nuts. Who's he talking to? What team wrote that book? Still, we all gotta eat, so let's make some jokes about famous artists who were just doing their best. As one of the villains of Return of the Jedi, and somehow one of the rulers of Tatooine, despite moving slow enough that literally a chained, underfed, and overworked slave can still easily slay him, Jabba the Hutt is one of the fan favorites of the series. One of the things that did make Jabba impressive, especially in the Ridge Tridge, was his imperviousness to Jedi mind tricks, which suggests that he possesses strong mental faculties, or that he's a Toydarian. This implies that, regardless of how sluggish and tongue-slippy and no-leg-having he looks, he is to be feared because of his superior brain. However, if they went with the original design, he would not have been a badass slug gangster. It would have been this. Look, Jabba, next time you want to talk to me, come see me yourself. Don't send one of these twerps. Han, Han, understand. I just can't afford to make exceptions. Look at how Han just walks all over him. It's not just that he looks like a man of the Night's Watch who presumably had to take the black for... Ham thievery related crimes? Is that this guy wouldn't have any of the mental prowess attributed to the slug that could go toe to toe with the most powerful living Jedi, thereby negating the only thing that was actually intimidating about Jabba. And replacing him with Irish Dom DeLuise? Oh shit! Is this all gonna be about Star Wars? I'm down. While it's hard to make Chewbacca not sound awesome, making him look awesome was another challenge. The lovable bear dog looks rad today. <laughs> But during the concept phase, he was a hairy elf swamp lizard thing. Why are you making that face, guy? <sighs> His pants and weapons seemed to change with time. Like, a bunch of execs couldn't decide. Like, no, he needs two pistols and a loincloth. No, give him a big rifle type thing and, and stylish yet rugged short shorts. No, one gun and just like a, a pouch for his nutsack. Lucas ultimately decided on a crossbow and no pants, which seems like a logical compromise. The Alien franchise is known for filling the pants of most people who watch, in no small part due to the actual alien, the Xenomorph. <laughs> but if concept art prevailed, then we would have gotten something quite different. Instead of a scary, jet black, eyeless creature, it would have been essentially a spore creation from a bored 12-year-old. They eventually abandoned that idea, of course, and moved on to this new, even more ridiculous version, before ultimately deciding, you know what, that's enough cocaine. There can be an enough of cocaine. And then one of the other guys was like, just a little bit more, and they dressed their dogs up like aliens. It was the cutest bad idea ever. Look at them go, hi! I'm gonna call my dog. The Xenomorph's arch space rivals also have a history of looking like bizarro versions of themselves. We have the dreadlocked Super Hunter versions. <laughs> and the original versions, which is like a Power Ranger bad guy or... Oh, I mean if you can't turn invisible, turning orange, no, that's impressive too, I guess. I mean, I can't do that. Uh, Never mind, looks dumb as shit. Turns out it was played by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Hey, fascinating. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down on invisible paper that I will still crumble up because who cares? You might not know the name Tote from memory, but you do know him as the needlessly evil Mr. Face Melty Nazi who looks like a third-rate Himmler. Good evening, Fraulein. The bar is closed. We oh, yeah. We are not thirsty. But consider that his original design had a freaking metal arm. Let's see him have trouble picking up a scalding hot Egyptian relic now. I mean, let's not, obviously, because this is Raiders, and we have a lot of good Indiana Jones movies to make before we start ruining them. Oh, good. 
Toy Story. A great movie about how cowboys and spacemen can team up to defeat adolescent sociopaths. Oh, finally. Oh. Hey, who's got my hat? Look, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. How could this have possibly been any different? Hi, pal, what you doing? I'm Tempest from Mars. Yeah, yeah, what's his butt? Say, you weren't thinking of flying, were you? Well... You know, Andy loves toys that can fly. Really? Well then, to infinity and beyond! You know, Andy loves toys that he can find. Hey, new nightmares on the way? Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna be stocked up not sleeping for a while, because I... No, I just, I, I saw a thing in the daytime that is far scarier than anything I could conceive of, so don't... Yeah, just take some time off. Travel. I don't know. I won't be sleeping for a while. Yeah, uh -huh. yes. Yours and Satan as well, I guess. Ow! That's all this time. Join us next week when our topic will be Jean-Claude Van Damme played the original print. Oh! Shh, I forgot to crumble it up. Bye. I'm gonna call my dog. I'm gonna call him right now. Jackson! Do not answer the phone! I answer the phone in the house. No, yeah. Yes. I have to, I'm literally filming something right now. Okay. Oh, the, yeah, no, f that squirrel. No, he can't be there. This is a world of men and dogs, not squirrels. Yeah, keep barking. Yes, 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 I really have to go. Yours and Satan. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Adam Ganser. You know, the Gans, uh, one of the crack personalities here. Uh, you should subscribe to YouTube. You know, it's the Gans. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm one of those guys. I was in a video uh, a few months ago. I, th I, was, uh, I, was, I wore a hoodie in, in uh, Internet Party, and uh, I, was, I was in a few Today's Topics. Uh, a few people said something about that. Uh, you know, so, you know, it's your guy, the Gans. Subscribe for the Gans, please. Please.